<laughs> but yeah, it was a it was a scary pregnancy, and it was a scarier birth story. What, what was the birth story? Uh, so I wanted to be like a hero and go like you know I want to be just like my mom. I want to be like my grandmother. You know, natural birth. You know the word natural, right? It's supposed to come naturally, but it didn't come naturally to me. Okay, I pushed for forty minutes. Oh, yeah. Is that normal? I know people who push for one hour, but apparently, like the normal part is the normal timing would be like twenty minutes. Usually, by twenty okay. minutes, the baby will be out. So mine was already like forty minutes, yeah. and apparently, like everything was swollen down there already. And the doctor that checked them, some you know, putri, you, I think you better go for emergency. She's like, I, she said, I can try to like use forceps and tear oh, whatever dear. down there. That, I know, That's I know, and I was like, yeah, yeah, just emergency, like anything to get, and and I just wanted it. I just wanted him to come up fast because he was already having low oxygen in there. Mm. So apparently, when I, so I have like a small pelvic area. So whenever <laughs> I pushed, yeah, yeah, because I'm I'm small. I'm yeah, small. yeah. I'm no, it's just funny that you're like <laughs> showing the motions. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so like whenever I pushed, apparently the doctor checked out. Whenever I pushed, the baby's head kept hitting my pelvis bone. Mm. Yeah, so it, yeah, it, he was just in the wrong direction, and like I was just too small. Boom, cut me up. It was so scary. I hated it. I hated emergency C-sec. Don't ever go for emergency C-sec, guys. Because once you do emergency, once you do a C-sec, after that, any subsequent, uh, like if you have a second child, third child, it's all C-sec. You can never do. Hey, no, no, no. That's a that's a common misconception. <laughs> I'm just throwing out common <laughs> misconceptions. That's a common misconception. Like fire today. <laughs> no. At least you did your homework. I would not be able to guess at all. No. <laughs> at then... least I'm at a level where I know the misconception. <laughs> no. Okay, so you can. You can. You can uh. have natural birth, but like. Uh, in my case, in my case, I cannot because the doctor already told me that you're really too small. Mm. Any baby that's above three kilograms, mm -hmm. any baby that's above three kilograms um, won't be able to go down there. Is there a way oh. to make sure your baby isn't above three kilograms? So you know, I yeah, make sure he's malnourished. Jen. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, but they're they're telling you this. I'm like, how are you supposed to do anything about it? No, what the heck? No, you cannot control it. <laughs> malnourish your child. Um, no, you know, I was like listening to this segment on the radio, and it was pretty cool. They were talking about again. They oh, now I know why I know this thing. Uh, they were talking about um, girl uh, ladies having a uh, weak. Uh, pelvic, pelvic muscles. Yes. Especially post uh, delivery. Yes. And they were talking about. So, actually, before Putri got pregnant, I already knew about this problem. So, what the doctor was saying was that because um, the female body is kind of evolved in a particular way, uh, there's, there's no way it can really evolve further than this. This is it. Like, that's the box that, that, hmm, that, that okay. is there. But the problem is our babies are becoming bigger and bigger. Mm. Yes, that's true. It is true. Because yes. of the, the amount of nutrients that we have. So these babies are huge, but the box can't grow any bigger. Yes, that's very true. That's why there's an increase in C-sections yeah. mm. for the so past if you, 10 if, years. If you're wondering like, how come, how did they do it with our C-sections in the past? That's because the number of C-sections in that what uh, the the pregnancies that needed a C-section yeah. was lesser. Yeah. Um, but did he say that was a positive thing? I mean, well, you can see it both ways, right? Because um, one of the reasons why our babies now are like above three kilograms when they when they're just born is because we take these um, pregnant prenatal pills mm. that has all these nutrients. Back then, manila orang makan benda tu, right? Right. Yeah, my mom. My mom was just like, we you just eat whatever eat. you want. Yeah. So <laughs> you know, so I was born like two point five kilograms. You know. How many pounds is that? You're the times two point two. You, uh, you were. I was only 2.5. Ezra is... That's really... That's 5.5 pounds. That's really small, isn't it? Actually, it was quite normal back then. Oh. So, why don't you check your birth certificate? How much did you weigh? Oh, I know how much I weigh. How much did you weigh? Both me and my brother were like 8, 9 pounds. <laughs> Yeah, you have but, to reverse. Oh, that's we were, oh she we was heavier than Ezra. Yeah, my mom's C-section. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, but Ezra was like 3. Point my mom, three. that's my mom's like... Every time like when we were younger... She like point at her. Oh, scars. The scars. Like, this is what you put me through. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, that's what you put her through, man. <laughs> it is so horrible. Okay, it's so painful. Yeah. Please, please tell her thank you after this. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah. Sure. Um, yeah. But would I go through that pain again? I don't know <laughs> at this point. But like, no. If I, I do want more kids. So. Okay. Yeah. So my... My next one is a planned C-sec. <laughs> I'm not going to go through an emergency C-sec. It was horrible because Atif couldn't follow me in. It was like a Prince Scott policy. Oh. 
Oh. Where, where the husband, because I think, I mean, it makes sense. Uh, I was like, I was so emotional already and I was in pain. I was screaming already when they were bringing me to the emergency room. Did you do like, you did this to me? <laughs> like shout at no, him. but I, I yelled at him. <laughs> I definitely yelled at him. I hate you so much. <laughs> no, I did not do that. <laughs> but I did score him. Like on the way, because, um, okay, so I was on epidural when I was already open by 2cm, 3cm, right? Mm. So I couldn't really feel the pain of the 5cm, 6cm, which people say was really bad. But when the doctor told me I had to go for emergency Okay, when you talk about 4 5 you're talking about dilation. Nah. Dilation. See how... That's very good. <laughs> I'm surprised good. at how much I know. You were very good. You very did your nice. reading. Yes. This yeah. will come in handy, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, when he gets married. Oh, man. That's not coming to me anytime <laughs> soon. La, let's just say. But uh, yeah, so then... um at the So when, when the doctor told me I had to go for emergency c they had to take out my epidural for a while because... Mm. Because you had to go to the OT, right? So yeah. you had to take out that thing. And that was when I felt the 10 cm dilation pain. Uh -huh. It was, my goodness. I can still remember the pain. It's Damn. been it's been 11 months. And any, I can still remember the pain. Is there any comparison to the pain? It's like a really, really bad... You know, I can't even say period cramp. You don't even know how period yeah. cramps. It feels <laughs> like... You know, if, evolu in terms of evolutionary uh, biology, mm. some people posit that the reason why girls have cramps from uh, like when they start menstruating is to prepare them for pregnancy contractions. Damn. That's really because the pain is similar, right? Like you said. It's similar, but it's like 10 to 12 times worse. Yeah, so it's supposed to slowly, gradually get you accustomed to the pain. Oh my goodness. That's the... Because some girls are like, why do I need to but go to But I never body? had like that But I never had period cramps really until yeah. like at that time I go, oh my god, it's mm. really, really bad. The contractions mm. were so bad. Okay, if I were to give a male equivalent, <laughs> it's like you have diarrhea. Wait, that doesn't sound right. <laughs> no, it's like that, the stomach pain when you have oh, diarrhea. Like a stomach ache. La. The stomach ache when you want to go because okay. you have diarrhea. Yeah. But wouldn't you times have Times that by 10. Wouldn't it be more like 100? I don't know. Like what? what do you mean? Yeah, yeah, times it by how many? Okay. Want. That's the closest equivalent pain I can give for males. Okay. I mean, the yeah. debate is always whether it's like getting uh, kicked in the balls. but I, <laughs> That I is know. not fair. I wouldn't know that. I I wouldn't know that. Rather than I don't know how people can have this conversation. Yeah, <laughs> like, like not have no, <laughs> How do you, guys? No, there's nothing more painful. How do you know? And then guys, nothing more painful. How do you know? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, that's really interesting, though. Yeah. So, okay. but I'm I'm surprised that you're still. Con I mean, you're open to having more. Just one more. That's it. And that's just one more. And then I want to close shop. <laughs> just just for Ezra to have. Just for Ezra to have a friend. Yeah. And also, I I I've always wanted two kids. Mm. Yeah. So. That, that's it, done. No, I'm never going through that pain ever again. <laughs> I don't know how people go through... No, I can't. I cannot imagine like people back then who also had scoliosis, mm. who also had like a small body frame, mm. right? And who might have been in the mycelium situation, right? When they were pushing, the baby couldn't come out because the baby was, baby's head was uh, kept hitting the pelvic floor. They would have died. Yep. And my mother kept telling me that throughout like the first few days after I gave birth, I was like, you could have died. Oh Lainey, you my. could have died. I'm like, yeah, thanks, Ma. Thanks. <laughs> Lenny, if you were not born in this era, you would have died. And I'm like, yeah, okay, Ma. Thank you. <laughs> great thing to remind your kid of. Though. Yeah, great thing. Great. <laughs>